Hey guys, what is up? This is my first C++ tutorial. Um, I'm used to doing a Java and C Sharp tutorials, but I decided just to try something new with this C++. Um, as you can see, I am using Eclipse, which is a strange debugger for C++ usually, but it's just something that I've gotten used to, and I do have still use Visual Studio, but I decided just to try something new for this. Um, this first tutorial will mostly be focusing on setting up the environment and everything. So if you don't want to use Eclipse, if you just want some other basic information with like uh, something like Notepad or Notepad++ or um, Vim or Emacs or something, you can pretty much just skip this tutorial and go on to the second one where we'll get into some more substantial stuff. Um, but first off, if you still are listening right now and you do want to use Eclipse, um, you can get the C++ specific thing at eclipse.org slash cdt. Um, you can just download it here and based on your Eclipse version, if you already have it installed, you can just get it from the repository there. I'll save you all the time of like doing that here since I'm sure you guys know how to do that yourself. So anyway, a few things that you need to uh, understand before you start using this to create projects. Uh, you need to do one small fix for, or at least I encountered this when I was setting it up. Uh, you have to set an environmental variable um, just so that Eclipse um, pr pretty much knows like what's going on with the C++. You just go in here um, into your path, oh, wrong thing edit it and make sure you add c min gw bin uh, to your environment system variable path and this will be added when you install the eclipse cdt plugin so once you do that that'll kind of fix some of the bugs that pop up um, and we're going to go ahead and do file new um, and then c++ project let's just do uh, basically an empty project blah 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 That'll just create um, pretty much nothing for you. So you can just go ahead and do new. Um, we'll just do a source file since we don't really need a header file right now. And let's just do that. And it'll just give us a blank file. We could have just done new file and then just named it main.cpp. Um, so C++, um, for those of you that don't know, um, when you create program there are basically two main files they're dot cpp files which uh, contains pretty much the majority of the code uh, depending on your project of course and then there's things called dot h or header files which uh, contain things like um, private and public declarations uh, for different functions basically uh, structure information about your cpp file and what usually happens is you'll have one dot h file for one dot cpp file um, and we'll get more into that when we talk about classes and objects and things. Um, so for now, what I've written here is just a main statement. If you've done any other programming in any other language, you know what this is. This is the specific format for C++. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to do the simple Hello World example. We're going to keep this video hopefully under about five minutes. Um, so in order to use uh, basically printing to console, need to include um, something called IO stream, which is input output stream. Um, now what you see here is basically C++ method way of like including other code, like other libraries so that you can do different functionality with it other than like basic, the most basic possible stuff. And this handles things like input output and some other stuff. Um, and we're going to be using uh, C out and uh, in order to output something. So what I can do right right here is do uh, std c out and then do a little hello world and then end line. Um, so what this is is it's saying I'm piping these characters here, this string, into standard out. Um, and what this is, this is um, uh, usually you could either write it like std colon colon c out or you could write something up here uh, using namespace std and that basically is like okay I want to use the standard library or I think it's like a library I'm not entirely sure but um, what it's saying is like if I if I add this here I wouldn't have to uh, add these things here 
um, because STD is already understood that it's being used. But I like to be very explicit with when I'm using what um, namespace directives, which is what that using is called. And the, again, these are all things that I should cover in later tutorials. But um, to be very basic, this is printing hello world, and then it's also printing an endline character. Um, and we're just going to return one, which means our program executed successfully. Um, but yeah, using the standard library to print this out. So um, what will happen, say, if you're used to Eclipse with Java and you hit run, um, it'll say something like launch failed, binary not found. What happens with C++ is it doesn't automatically like auto build for you. In order to fix that, um, you can go to your project properties, uh, C++, I think it's C++ general. Nope. nope, C++ build, and you go to behavior, and then build on resource save. So this will just attempt to build every single time you save. This can be a good and a bad thing. Like if you have a lot of code, you don't really want to do this. Otherwise, um, you should do that, like if you want it to be easy. So what will happen is it will attempt to build my program every time every single time I save. If you don't want to do this, there's the little hammer thing right here that you can click and that'll build your program for you. Um, but anyway, when we hit run uh, in the console, you can see quack, we're here, hello world. All right, so that's pretty basic. I try not to get into in-depth stuff that we can talk about later, but this is what you're going to be seeing a lot if you use Eclipse. Um, if you use some other thing, you can look into how to build with that, just using GCC or some other IDE. Um, Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Um, hopefully I'll be able to produce a lot of these. I'm going to try and get a bunch out uh, before I start making uh, more. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, you know, whatever, all that YouTube junk. Quackware signing out.